Wait. Hey everyone, it's me. Okay, look, go up here. Hey everyone, it's me, Alex. Okay, no. Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. <laughs> from Japan and while I was there I did just a teensy teensy tiny little bit of shopping. Yeah, not, not that much, just, just a little bit. Don't expose me. Wait, 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 come back, come back, come back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys around Shibuya 109. So if you've been to Japan before or maybe you are interested in going, I'm sure you've probably heard of Shibuya 109. It's a huge shopping mall in the middle of Shibuya, just near the Shibuya crossing. This giant mall is eight floors high open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week. There's eight floors of Japanese goodness, a couple of Korean stores in there too. You can find a huge range of clothes from the, the cute pastel Lolita kawaii style to more edgy, punk, gothic, edgy sort of clothes. So uh, there's basically something there for everyone. I do find that this mall is the tiniest little bit expensive, but the quality of the items that you find at Shibuya 109 is Fantastic. The clothes are amazing. They are high-end, some of them, or a lot of them. There's not very many cheap clothing stores, but uh, you know, when you're shopping in Japan, you can expect to get excellent quality, unique clothes that you probably can't get back home. So I can kind of justify it, but it because of that, because of the cost, I didn't spend a huge amount of money there. I tried to get a range of clothes that you guys might be interested in seeing, but mostly today's video is a tour of Shibuya 109 for those of you that have never been and you're interested in seeing what it looks like. There are timestamps below. If you want to skip ahead and see the try on haul, then feel free, but otherwise hang around and I'll give you a tour. You look like an anime character, I love it. They're so cool! Oh my god, I wonder if I can try them. How much are they? They're $30. I actually think that's worth it because they're so cool. When you just want to get straight to the point, when you're just feeling blunt. Oh my god! That's only $35. That's so cool! I love them. You love them? I don't think Alex realizes that we're in like a sex apparel store. You know? Like if you just look at these. We're definitely in like a sex store, but I don't think she realizes. Like guys, that is that is sex apparel. Wow, they're only $30. They're epic. And look at these. And these, they're $30. Oh, wow. When nothing's in my size. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, these are like, look. This is only $50. That's really, really good for these. These are like all licensed Sanrio shoes. That's totally worth it. Oh my god, this shop is amazing. Remember this moment forever. These are the largest size they have and they're too small. I'm heartbroken. <laughs>
on the shelf. I'll think about it. I'll th I mean, we'll go up all the floors and then on my way back down, if I haven't bought anything up there, I'll buy stuff here. Welcome to Chew Supermarket. But what is in here? Is this an edible? Like a giant tin? Oh, it's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Well, there's clothes in the fridge. I see the thing. They're keeping their clothes fresh. <laughs> Hashtag yikes is a, that's not what you want to say when you look in the mirror. Hashtag yikes. <laughs> but it's what we do say. <laughs> you know it's gonna be expensive when it's in plastic. So cute. How much? Okay, that's like $20. That's really cute. If this is all made in Korea, all the true products are made in Korea, so I don't mind paying a little bit more because I find the products that are made in Korea are really, really good quality, so I'll think about it. What are you getting? <laughs> when you uh, just Photoshop your images a little bit, baby shoop. What do you think? You happy? I like it. It's really comfortable. It's, it's so weird, but I think I'm gonna wear it. Yeah, it's get fun. it. I think it's cool enough. Like it's Japan. I should buy this. Right you have now. to. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. It's so funny because tights are for exercise and good Tama would good Atama never. Is for sleeping. <laughs> I want to get Dan those good Tama. Yeah, they're so funny. Good Tama, good night. Oh. So tempting. But also, it's kind of plain. It's so plain. But it's really cool. It's a top and a, yeah. Yeah, and just say the prices as well. If Tiasha didn't hate this so much, I would consider trying it. I truly love this outfit. Do you? Pink. That's really nice. That's so cute. Mm. Hold it up in the mirror, yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. How much is this? 73. Lazier? Yeah, is it no? Yeah, lazier than Doc
seen inside Shibuya 109, I'm going to show you the things that I bought. So starting off, I picked up a dress and a cardigan from a store called Honey Bunch. Now this place was absolutely beautiful. Everything in this store was absolutely amazing, but it was so expensive. So I did pick this up from, I think it was a sale rack or there was a special going on. So if you bought a full price item, then you got something 30% off. So that kind of helped me justify it a little bit. But yeah, this place was considerably expensive, but the quality, the quality was amazing. So I picked up a dress and a cardigan. Okay, so here's the dress. Now this was 6,900 yen. Now that's about $70. And I think that that's a fair bit of money. $70 for a dress is a lot, but this is made exceptionally well. One of the shop assistants was wearing this dress and that's what sold it to me. I walked in and saw her wearing it and I was like, I need that. I need that in my life right now. I don't care how much it costs. And then I saw that it was $70 and I was like, ooh, actually I do care how much it costs. And then I potted around inside the store for about 25 minutes trying to make up my mind and then eventually I was like, you know what, stuff it, I'll get it. I haven't bought a really nice, good quality dress in Japan yet, so this was my one sort of like splurge purchase. So uh, let's try this one on. Oh my gosh, it feels so bad. Go, go over there. Go over, no, no, let go. Okay, so here it is. It's such a gorgeous dress. Unfortunately for me, I'm not particularly good at doing up bows. Uh, I've done my best, but in the store, she had this beautiful looking bow, the way that they tied it. I really didn't do the best job, but uh, I'm sure you can imagine that it would look a lot nicer if it was done up properly. But aside from that, it's very, very comfortable. This fabric is, uh, I don't, it's very thick. So this isn't really a summertime appropriate dress. It's more of like a fall to winter, maybe winter with a coat and some stockings. Summer, this would be way too hot. It's pretty thick, but also at the back, it's got a little tie like this. Now in the store, the girl was wearing it paired with knee high white socks and some chunky sneakers. It looked so cute. I love it. Wearing this, this is very, very Japanese to me. It's kind of like Madeline at the same time, but in Japan, they like the youthful fashion. Women in their 20s, even 30s, still wear stuff like this, even though it's more of like a youthful kind of look. Kind of looks a little bit like a, I don't know, like a French schoolgirl kind of thing. But I love it so much. I was honestly blown away by everything in this store. Everything was incredible and I loved it and I highly recommend it. Like that you have to visit if you go to Shibuya 109. No, get off there. Get the other thing that I purchased from Honey Peaches, no, what is, it? What is this place called? Honey Peaches. Honey Bunch. Archie, no! 20% is 10. Archie, no! Archie, look, Archie, no! The other thing I purchased from Honey Bunch was this beautiful, beautiful cardigan. Now this was 30% off because I bought something else. So this full price was 4,900 yen, which is about $50, but I got it for 30% off. This one has beautiful, beautiful pearl detailed buttons and it has like a little candy machine embroidered into it, look. And then this is the button setup. They're beautiful. I don't know how well this is going to suit what I'm wearing, but I'll put it on anyway to show you. This is really well made again. Like I keep stressing, everything in this store was phenomenal. No, not edible. No, no, no. Huh, it actually matches quite nicely. I didn't think I'd be able to wear this with this dress, but this looks really, really cute. So this is very comfortable. Only problem for me is that the sleeves aren't quite as long as I'd like them to be. But in Japan, the sleeves are that little bit shorter. So, you know, someone my height does kind of struggle with length in Japan, but because I like the style so much, I, I learned to compromise. Next up, I visited a store called Vulcan and Aphrodite, which was absolutely amazing. I loved everything in this store. I could not help myself. This is where I did the majority of the shopping. So I don't have a huge amount of items to try on for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed the tour of the building. It's just that, you know, I bought so much else on this trip and I didn't have very much room left in the suitcase. But the things that I did get, I'm really, really happy with. Didn't get a chance to try them on though because they didn't have a fitting room. So, uh, what are you chewing on? What's that? What have you got? Oh, is that a button? How dare you? Oh no, he's stealing my buttons, no! This outfit was stolen straight off 
the mannequin. I walked past the store and this is the first thing that caught my attention before I walked in. I loved it so much. I think that this is a Korean style outfit, more so than a Japanese style outfit, but it's got this little t-shirt, little cropped white t-shirt that has Vogue written on it. This was $20. This two-piece set was $50. The belt was $15 and the choker was $25. So this is a pretty pricey outfit. They actually paired it with this cute little cap as well, but uh, the cap was like 60 bucks, so I didn't want to get that. I loved the outfit as soon as I saw it. The skirt is beautiful. It has built-in shorts, which I do adore. As a taller girl, I do adore the built-in shorts into the skirt. Look, I'll show you what the t-shirt looks like. So it's just got Vogue Paris written on it. It's a cropped t-shirt. It stops just here. Love the t-shirt. I love this two-piece set. I don't wear a huge amount of gray, but this is convincing me to want to wear gray. I love the look so much. And also, look, you can see the choker here. This choker, it's got a couple of little crosses and it's got these three sort of drop down chains here as well. Love it. The belt also, this belt is perfect because it doesn't matter what size you are. You can put the, this, you, what do you call it? You can put the, what do you call it? Clip. Clip? Belt? The buckle. Buckle! You can put the buckle through any of the holes and it'll fit. So I feel like this outfit is a great success. Am I right? Is it a more Korean outfit than a Japanese outfit? Correct me if I'm wrong. I almost feel like this is like a K-pop style outfit. I, I don't listen to K-pop, but from what I've seen of pictures of the K-pop singers, it looks like they wear stuff like this. Okay, so I also got this two-piece set. Now I think this was about $50 for this two-piece. This is a blazer and a skirt that match. Now, I'm pretty sure I have a similar print that I got from Wego. I don't know if it's exactly the same. I really, really hope that it's not because I've doubled up, if that's the case. But, you know, I can't resist the purple. Purple is one of my absolute favorite colors. Time to try this one on. This one, when I saw it hanging up, I was like, mm, purple blazer, purple blazer, yes. Okay, so turns out what I thought was a skirt is in fact shorts, not really the most flattering shorts. So before I show you what the shorts look like, I'll just show you what the blazer's like. I've rolled the sleeves up, gives it a more casual kind of look. I left the necklace on because I, I love this necklace so much. Let's have a look at the shorts because the shorts are odd. <laughs> okay, so I love to wear things at this height. Uh, maybe it's not intended to be worn so high because in pulling it up it's giving me some camel toe and it's flaring out. So if I try to pull it down a little bit, pull it down a bit further, then I kind of get little tiny muffin tops, which I'm not a fan of. So that's why I prefer to lift it up higher because I don't have a very toned, you know, midriff area. So if something sort of pushes in here, it's not as flattering as it is if it sort of sits a little bit higher, but then you sit it higher and it bulges out at the sides. So this is, you know, not quite what I'd hoped for, but hey, at least with the jacket on, you can't really tell how awkward the shorts are. But this was a two piece set. So if I'd known that these were shorts, and if I'd been able to buy the jacket on its own, I would have done that, but you get one and you get the other. So maybe I won't get as much use out of these shorts, but hey, I do love the jacket so much, so I'm happy to excuse this. At least the shorts have pockets. Anything with pockets is worth it in my books. So um, tell me what you guys think. This is an Oreo top. I love food themed clothing items. I just adore them. It's like a, a plain t-shirt from the front but it's on the sleeves that you get the little Oreo branding. And this came in different colors. There was, I think that there was blue, there was black, there was even a pink one. I wanted the white one because I felt like the white matched the best with the Oreo logo. Oh, this is sick. So this is 30 something, $32 or so, which is a little bit much, but also I just, I really, I couldn't help myself. Okay, so here it is, oversized white t-shirt. It's got Oreo here, which I didn't even notice when I bought it. I thought that the only branding was on the sleeves, but it's also got this little thing here. So this will look super cool tucked into a pair of high waist <laughs> jeans. Maybe it'll look good tucked into these shorts. So as you can see, tucked into things, oversized t-shirts look epic. I just, uh, I love it so much. Food themed clothing is the best. Literally, give me a Kit Kat t-shirt any day. And speaking of food themed clothing, this t-shirt was $30, but it's so cute. Look, Chopper Chops, Chopper Chop t-shirt. This came in so many different colors as well. 
I love it. The color is beautiful. The Chupa Chups logo is super, super cute. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll put this one on for you now. Okay, so here it is on. I just adore this so much. I have had a fair few comments about this because I put up a picture on Instagram and people were like, oh my God, where did you get that shirt? There you go, guys. It's from Vulcan and Aphrodite in Shibuya 109. So this is the last thing that I got from that particular store. And then I only have two more items for you. Now, this next one is from a store called Ponyas. Now, this is definitely available online. I know that they have an online store. This is an amazing, amazing brand. This brand was started by a Japanese comedian and she's a plus size woman and she wanted to make a clothing brand that was fun and quirky and unique that catered to all sizes. So I know that sometimes in Japan, so for example, this store that I got this from, what I'm wearing, everything in this store was the uh. one size. But at Punyas, there's many, many, many different sizes. My friend Tiasha, she was able to find so many things that she loved. My friend Millie, she shops here online. That's how I knew about the store because she'd visited it in Shibuya 109 and then she kept buying stuff from the online store as well. I only got one thing because it was a tiny little bit more expensive and I couldn't see a huge amount of things that were my personal style, but Tiasha walked away with so much stuff. I might actually try and insert some pictures here of everything that Tiasha bought from Punyas. But uh, yeah, the link will be down below if you want to shop from Punyas directly. I don't know about the other stores. If any of them have online stores, I will link them below. This is a $40 t-shirt, which is a lot when you think about it for a t-shirt, but bless you. This is beautiful fabric. I have no idea what this material is, but it's so thick. This is really, really thick, luxurious fabric. And look, it's a Fugu shirt. Fugu is puffer fish, if you didn't know. Now I got this a couple of sizes up because I want to be able to wear it as a dress. And uh, they had a bunch of different food themed t-shirts. They had like tomatoes and eggs and fish cakes or something. There was everything. It was so, this store was so much fun. Everything was so quirky, but yeah, I couldn't resist the Fugu shirt. I loved it so much. I feel like with a mesh long sleeve shirt underneath, this would be epic. So let's put this one on. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I did think that I'd be able to get away with wearing this as a dress, but actually I think it's just the tiniest little bit too short to be a dress. Although, come to think of it, like I, I have the skirt on underneath and the skirt is shorter than the t-shirt, but I don't know what it is. It's like, if a t-shirt is this length, I don't think I can wear it as a dress. But if a skirt is this short, I think it's fine. Regardless, anyway, this is what it looks like. It's so cute, oh, I love it so much. I definitely, definitely recommend you check out their online store. They have so many quirky and unique designs. And uh, even though this was $40, it's impressively good quality. Like 11 out of 10 t-shirt quality. You know how a Gucci, Gucci t-shirts are like a couple of hundred dollars and it's just a plain cotton t-shirt? If Gucci t-shirts felt like this, I could probably justify spending that sort of money because this is great. And also the design is so cute. Look at the little puffer fish. They're just adorable. So, uh, and now I just have a pair of shoes. And it's a, a sad story with these shoes. It's a very unfortunate story. These are from a store called CST and P. So casual shoes, T and P. I don't know what the T and P stands for. Toilet paper, perhaps, or? <laughs> these shoes, when I walked into the store and I saw these, I was like, and then I tried them on in the largest size that they had and they were a little bit too small for me. And then I put it up on my Instagram story and I was like, guys, look at this terrible list terrible sad story these are too small and then the amount of people that replied and they were like it doesn't matter they're so beautiful just buy them anyway and stick them on a shelf that that is that's what i've done i've bought them to stick them on a shelf or i'm gonna try and wear them because they're, they're not horrendously small like you if you've seen any of my yes style shoe hauls or like my uvimi shoe haul for example uh those asian shoe sizes they're just a little bit smaller female shoe size doesn't fit me so i can squeeze into these shoes. I feel like maybe if I was going out for an event and I was just getting in the car and driving there, I could probably get away with wearing them, but I don't think they'd be extremely comfortable wearing them all day. But anyway, without further ado, let us have a look at the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. Here they are. So these are licensed Sanrio shoes. So this company has done a collaboration with Sanrio and they are indeed Hello Kitty shoes. And I just realized that my light is so bright that you probably can't even see them. Here they are. <laughs> Yes, they're beautiful. I love them. So they've got this, look at the quilting. Isn't that amazing? I think they're absolutely stunning. They're the most beautiful shape as well. Look at the heel. It has this beautiful bow detail on it like that. My foot does fit into them. They are on the bottom here. You can see it says, where is it? There, look, LL, double L. 
This is the largest shoe size that they make and it's still slightly too small for me. It's very unfortunate, but I can fit into it. So I'll put these on and show you. this video. Sorry I didn't have a huge amount of clothing to show you, but this was one of the very, very last places that I shopped at. I have a huge thrift shopping haul and a massive Wego haul as well. Wego is one of my favorite stores in Japan and I bought so much stuff from Wego. So subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you know when I post those videos. I'm going back to Japan very soon actually. So if you have any other videos or any other stores that you want me to shop at, please let me know down below. I'll check them out for you. I can do a little tour of the inside. I can buy some ah. things, review the quality, but I definitely think that from Shibuya 109, Punyas had some of the best stuff that I'd seen and also that honey honey bunches or whatever that store was called that was stunning as well but honestly every floor that you go on you see stuff that you love but again be warned it is a tad bit expensive so it's definitely worth saving that little bit of extra money before you go to Japan maybe delay your trip if you can and just save up a little bit harder because I went to Shibuya 109 five different trips I went there without buying a single thing this is the first time I've ever bought something from Shibuya 109 because in the past I've always gone in and walked around and loved everything but thought it was too expensive so it's definitely worth it to save up and then splurge because you're gonna love the quality of the products that you get I do recommend a visit to Shibuya 109 but I also recommend that uh, you go to Harajuku as well if you're interested in shopping and uh, keep an eye out for my Harajuku videos. They're very, very fun. We've got some really cool stuff. So anyway, with that, that's all for today. Follow us on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel Please. My Twitter is Pretty Pastel PLS. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!